Council waiting. I'll quickly review the agenda. We'll have previous minutes, students and school presentations, parent groups, open to the public, three minutes per speaker for no longer than 60 minutes, superintendent's report, correspondence and board comments, including committee reports, personnel agenda, consent agenda, uh, proposed executive session, and then we'll adjourn the meeting. Sorry, I didn't. We have a motion for. Where is my. <laughs> previous minutes. Motion to approve the minutes of the previous regular meeting held on Monday, February 11, 2013. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Do we have any student or school presentations tonight? Any parent groups? Okay. Open to the public. Who would like to speak? Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, I just have a quick question. I know that there's a process going on right now with the superintendent search. Um, just interested in what's going on right now. I know that there was an open meeting for characteristics of what the community would want. I was just interested in finding out a little bit more about what's going on at this point. Okay. Um, we need your name. Oh, I'm sorry. In the minutes. Yep. Uh, Tina Chan Sweeney. And my daughter goes to Forest Hill. Great. Uh, I can help you out with that. On uh, this coming Wednesday night, uh, the board will be meeting with finalists. There were uh, 24 applications, uh, applicants for the job. Uh, the search uh, consultants went through and did uh, investigations, et cetera, et cetera, and found three highly qualified individuals. Uh, the board will be meeting with them, as I said, this coming Wednesday. Uh, the board will, uh, we're recommending that the board uh, narrow that down to two finalists. Uh, each finalist will spend a day in the district. Uh, so the teachers will be able to eyeball these characters. Uh, right now, we're not sure of the data. It, it's going to be in a couple of weeks. That'll be announced uh, where uh, the, the board president uh, will take the candidate around all the buildings and have a chance to meet with the directors and the administrators. There will be a, a school community focus group, people invited to that, a small group that will ask questions, just like when we were lucky enough to find, uh, what's his name over there? <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> uh, then the board will have dinner uh, with the, the candidate. That'll be in two consecutive nights. And then after the second night, as they're burping their way through dessert, and the candidates, the candidate leaves, the board uh, will determine uh, if there's someone uh, of the two that they think can be the superintendent of Beacon. Uh, the next thing that will happen is that they will negotiate uh, a contract. Uh, these uh, folks up to this point have been thoroughly vetted. So uh, we, we know that of the three candidates, any one of the three uh, has the potential and the qualifications to be a superintendent, a beacon. So this is the most important job that the Board of Education has. And uh, they're taking it very seriously this year. Uh, actually, this evening, we're going back into second executive, and uh, they'll be uh, discussing the questions and criteria and that type of thing that uh, they'll be asking the candidates. So sometime in March, uh, folks in school will get a, a glimmer of, uh, or an opportunity, I should say, uh, to meet the candidates. And then uh, as it is uh, by law, the, uh, the elected Board of Education will, I hope, choose a finalist and maybe you'll finally get someone good. Get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a follow-up to that? Um, just a quick question. You had mentioned this focus group. What exactly does that entail? Does that entail students, does, or not students, but teachers, parents, that kind of thing? Or is it simply... No, it, it will be uh, 
uh, representatives uh, from the, the teachers association, uh, the PTOs, and uh, staff members to be a, a school uh, group with people that have uh, that have invested in, uh, in stakeholders in the process. So unfortunately, uh, th these kind of activities are limited uh, by the number of people involved, just by the you know the nature of it. You know the time frame involved, the asking the questions, etc. Uh, and why I mentioned uh, the compare that to the principal search, the folks that were uh, took part in the, uh, the vetting of the, the interviewing of the principals found that to work quite well, so we're going to repeat that for this. Thank you. Would anyone else like to speak? Yes? Beacon as it's turned into an artist's community, mentioned by the New York Times. In New York City, where I work, when I mentioned Beacon, no one really knew where it was years ago. It was always, I'd have to say, well, it's 20 minutes north of Cold Spring, or half an hour south of Poughkeepsie. But now, I mentioned Beacon and they say, oh, Dia, I love Dia, Hudson Beach class, the music of Pete Seeger. Our community <coughs> is getting the town crier soon. They're moving here because this is where music and art are made. This is what our community is being defined as. Students in our district, they've formed a love for the arts because of the dedication of our hardworking teachers and their understanding of how important arts and education is for the future. Student involvement in the arts is linked to higher academic performance, increased standardized test scores, greater involvement in community service, and more importantly, lower dropout rates. Now more than ever, employers are looking for creative thinkers <coughs> who will move their businesses forward. Involvement in the arts teaches children, students, to be able to think on their feet and approach tasks from different perspectives and think outside the box. These skills will distinguish our graduates from others as they enter the workforce. I want to thank you all for your support through the years. And I look forward, I think we all look forward to your continued support this year as you make decisions on the budget. Thank you. I have just um, something for you guys to read if you get a chance. You can just pass it down. Um, and I thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, Carla, can I, before you go, let me talk at you for a minute? Sure. Uh, I really appreciate your comments. And they, they resonated with me personally because I, I spent uh, a number of years as an instrumental music teacher. Uh, and I made the same speech in front of a Board of Education uh, probably about 30 years ago. I can tell you that uh, this Board of Education, we've discussed this, and they, they really support the arts. We want to do our very best, and, and we talked about what the school can be for the future, and we know that Beacon is going to be uh, uh, really the home for the arts in the future, and we're looking forward to seeing what it would be like 20 years from now. So the board has that in mind as we go through this tough budget year, and uh, that hasn't been 
been lost on them. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to recommend next week, uh, I should tell you that uh, this is uh, the fifth school that we've been in and the board toured uh, this year, and they, they have appreciated the student artwork. But uh, the art teachers are, are uh, in the elementary, uh, the best of the elementary are uh, doing an art show at the high school early in March in the egg. So uh, I'm asking the board if you would consider moving your meeting next Monday rather than having Sergeant postpone that for a meeting and moving back to the high school so you'll have a chance to get uh, to the art exhibit. Is that something the board would consider? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. And you're invited, you know, to, to come out. Uh, I've been there. It's very cool. It's a nice venue for that. So uh, we're well aware, and then uh, I guess it would be the 18th. Uh, uh, this just came up, so Tarkhan, I, I was here. He gets a reprieve for a couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, but Eric set the bar pretty high, uh, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. So uh, March 4th, uh, we'll be in the high school, and we're uh, inviting everybody to uh, come out early and enjoy the art show. Thank, Thank you. you. Are there any copies? <laughs> yeah, that's just, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Thank you. Would anyone else like to speak? No? Okay. Would you like to give the superintendent's report? You're not talking enough. <laughs> These folks want to go home. They had to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to thank you, uh, everyone for coming out. Uh, Eric did a great job. Uh, I, I'm still so appreciative of uh, you taking us to many of the classrooms and your knowledge of what the teachers were doing uh, and really champion, uh, being their champion. So thank you for that. And I thank the faculty for your continued good work. Thank you. Do we have any board comments tonight? Okay. I just want to uh, comment that uh, a week from this Thursday will be the Dutchess County School Board Association's monthly meeting. I plan on going if anybody else would like to go. I, I always like the company. It's a long drive all the way up there, so uh, just let me know if you're interested in, in going. We can uh, figure out the car rides. That's it. Okay. Anyone else? Um, I'd like to just mention quickly, um, I forgot at our last meeting, I attended the Martin Luther King Breakfast um, sponsored by the Catherine Street Community Center back on January 25th at the um, Mid-Hudson Civic Center where our student, Brendan Warner, was awarded a scholarship, um, which was a great breakfast. Dr. Sieverding and I um, met up there with uh, Brendan and his family, and um, it was very well received. So congratulations, Brendan. Okay. May I have a motion for the personnel agenda? Motion to approve the personnel agenda items 12.02 through 12.02. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. May I have a motion for the consent agenda? Motion to approve consent agenda items 13.02 through 13.05. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I have a motion for executive session. Motion to adjourn to executive session to review the employment history of a particular individual and the board is not expected to take action after executive session. Second. Okay. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you. Thank you.